Hey, hello and welcome to the 14th video, I believe. Um, here we're looking at ratio and mixture problems. Um, effectively, these are sort of a bit of a one trick pony, maybe two trick um, pony that knows two tricks. Uh, we're going to be either, we're going to be choosing between two methods, depending on which one's more suited to the question. So we're either going to use sort of the, um, the sort of distance ratio line that I covered in the uh, video on word problems, um, or we're if that doesn't, isn't easily suited to the question, what you can just sort of fall back to is just the idea of using um, totals, uh, total amounts uh, needed. So um, effectively, when I'm doing these questions, just sort of um, hopefully it should show you your options for this kind of question and sort of um, the different ways in which you can go about approaching them. So for example, this, this first question, the final exam in particular class makes up 40% of the final grade and Mo is failing the class with an average of 45% just before taking the final exam. What grade does Mo need on his final exam to, in order to receive the passing grade average of 6% for the class? So for this, I would say um, it's, it's not going to be easily uh, converted into sort of a number line ratio problem. Um, just because there's a lot of different sort of percentages going on. Um, it's, you know, and we don't know the um, sort of the grade he needs, if that makes sense. So um, instead, what you probably want to do with this kind of question is just sort of talk about totals. And so what I mean by that is overall, he needs 60% uh, to pass. And uh, how many, so if we just say uh, he needs 60 marks to pass, well, how many marks is he, and the, the overall exam is at, all of the exams overall in total are out of 100. How many marks does he already have? Well, he's done 60, he's already done 60 marks because he's done 60%. Um, and he's got 45% uh, of those. So he's already accumulated 27 marks. Which means he still needs... Uh, I'm just going to thin this out a bit, needs 33 more marks. And he's got final exam is uh, 40 marks possible, and he needs 33. So what percentage does he need? Well, 33 out of 40, which we can sort of scale up times top and bottom by 2.5. So that's going to be what, 66 plus 16.5 is how I do that, over 100, uh, which looks to me like 82.5, and so the answer is B. Okay. If grapes are 92% water and raisins are 20% water, okay, so why don't we sort of talk about what that implicitly is saying? And that means they're 8% solid, and these are 80% uh, solid. Um, how much did a quantity of raisins, which currently weighs 10 pounds, so then what do we currently have? Well, we have eight uh, pounds of solid, if that makes sense. Um, how much did it weigh when the raisins were, were all grapes? Well, then in other words, uh, eight pounds uh, equals 8% of the weight. So eight pounds equals not point, well, let's just, Let's keep it in fractions. So eight over hundred of the grape weight. So in other words, we've immediately got to the answer that it's a hundred pounds. So D. A dessert recipe calls for 50% melted chocolate and 50% raspberry puree to make a particular sauce. Um, okay, so again, I would say uh, this is gonna be easier done with totals. So we can just talk about how much of the stuff do we currently have and how much do we need? So we've got, um, if each cup contains, you know, one kilogram in total or whatever, how much do we currently have? Well, we've currently got, what do we have? We have um, six, uh, you know, six units of melted chocolate, 40% times 15, um, and nine units of raspberry puree. Um, and then if we remove cups, um, we'll be removing them in the ratio. Uh, so all we can do is sort of make that uh, 
smaller. Um, and so, oh, and I assume that there's something they haven't mentioned here because obviously uh, there's something implied here that's sort of um, uh, left out. Otherwise we can't solve this question, which is basically that we need to have 15 in total. Um, so as soon as we've written this out, well, if we have if we need to be limited to 15 in total, we need to end up with uh, 7.5 of melted chocolate and 7.5 of raspberry puree. And so, well, in other words, all we need to ask is how much do we need to remove in order to get to 7.5 of raspberry puree? And then we'll just be able to add however much chocolate that we want. So each cup we remove removes uh, 0.6 of raspberry puree. We need to remove 1.5 of them. So in other words, we need to remove 2.5 cups. And then we'll have 7.5 left of raspberry puree. It doesn't really matter how much melted chocolate we have because you can just um, add more until we've got up 7.5. So the answer will be B. Not a very well um, structured question there because it didn't explain that we need to be limited to 15 cups in total. Okay, ah, so our first question that's probably uh, better suited to the number line ratio uh, tactic simply because we know all of the, um, uh, the solution percentages here. Um, e.g. at first we've got um, uh, half water, half alcohol. So we've got 50 over here. That was what we had at first. And uh, then we um, replaced it uh, with some amount of 25% um, and ended up with 30%. So we're here. And so the distance here is 25, the distance from here is five. Uh, so we're sort of, um, we've got a final ratio of, um, uh, well, that's, let's just explain this, five and 20. So we've got uh, one unit of 25 for every four units of 50 we have. Uh, and so what percentage of the original alcohol was replaced? Well, it must be 20%. Uh, no, sorry, uh, we haven't got one unit. Wow, we haven't got one unit of 25. We've got four units of 25 for every one unit uh, of um, alcohol. So um, instead, we have to have replaced 80% uh, of the original solution. There we go. Nearly messed that up. Okay. Sue's trail mix 30% nuts and 70% dried fruit. So we've got that. Jane's trail mix. 46% nuts, blah, blah, blah. The wine mixture of Sue and Jane's trail mix contains 50% nuts. Okay, so, right. So uh, again, the ratio tactic, we can say that um, Sue has 30% uh, nuts and Jane's is 60%. We end up at 50. So just, you know, very easily, we can see that this is a third and that's two thirds. This is Jane. So that means we have uh, twice as much. We're biased towards Jane. So we have twice as much of J for every S we have. And then what percent of the combined mixture is dried fruit? Well, okay, so one third of it is Sue's. So one third. Uh, and then uh, of that one third, 70% is dried fruit. So seven over 10, which is seven over 30. Uh, which now we have to sort of, you know, quickly pick our option. Uh, it's obviously not 25% because that's too neat. It doesn't simplify that easily, um, but it's more than 20%, for example. So it is 23.33%. Oh, and these are all 700, 800 level questions. So um, again, don't worry if you're finding them tricky. Hopefully you can see that um, the, hopefully you understand this ratio method um, and you can see it sort of answers questions quite quickly. Okay, there are two bars of gold silver alloy. Uh, alloy. One piece has two parts of gold to three parts of silver. Okay, so uh, one we've got. Um, let's just say one is three fifths silver, uh, and two is um, uh, seven tenths silver. And then both bars are melted down into an eight kg bar with the final gold to silver ratio of five to 11. So the final bar has uh, 11 
over 16 silver. Okay, Ooh, nasty question. So the first thing we have to ask, effectively all we have to ask is what's the ratio of each one? Um, so where are we on this uh, scale? So first thing I want to do is actually turn this all into sort of a common denominator. So we can say that uh, what's the common denominator? 5, 10, and 16. I believe it's uh, 80. Oh, this really is quite nasty, this question. So the first bar is uh, how many lots of uh, 5 do we need to get? 80, we need 16. So that's um, 48 over, yeah, that doesn't sound right. Um, yeah, 48 over 80. Is that three fifths? Uh, why is my brain not working? Yeah, times both top and bottom by 16. Yeah, okay. So that's 48 in terms of over 80. Um, let, let me write this out. That's So that's 48 over 80 S. Uh, this guy is going to be, uh, we need times top and bottom by 8. So that's 56 over 80 S. And this guy is 55 over 80 S. And so effectively, all I'm saying is that now that we've got it all in that form, we know that that's 48, that's 56, and we end up at 55. So in other words, now we can see that we've very, even though that was nasty, we've got to the end of the question quite quickly because, well, this is seven, this is one. And so we've got, we are biased in favor of the uh, second bar, seven to one. Uh, so we've got um, one eighth of the first bar and seven eighths of the second bar. And so the weight of the first bar is only one kilogram. A total of 22 men and 26 women were at a party and the average arithmetic age was, so we've got 26 women compared to 22 men. Average arithmetic mean age of all the adults party was 35. Okay, so we've got the average age is 35. Um, the average age of the men is uh, 38. Um, what is the average age of the women? Okay, and so, well, we could do this sort of, you know, just with totals. I just think the maths is probably the actual arithmetic is going to get pretty nasty. So instead, what I'd say is, um, if um, the men uh, are, uh, if there's 22 men above the average age of 35, um, how much above the average age are they? They're three years. So we've got um, three times 22, which is 66 years of age above 35. Um, and so then in other words, we need this distance, which is X um, to be, uh, we need that distance to be the same number of years. So 66 is equal to the number of women. So 26 times X. And so if X is equal to 66 over 26, then X is equal to nothing particularly nice, 33 over 13, which is um, two and seven thirteenths. So in other words, let's just call that 2.5. Uh, then we just, we know that it's the average age is 35 minus 2.5. So the answer will be D, 32.5. Okay. Jug contains water and orange juice in the ratio of five to seven. So let's just talk about how much water it has. Um, He's got uh, five twelfths water. Uh, another drug contains water and orange juice in the ratio is seven to two. So he's got uh, seven ninths water. And we want to mix them to be in the ratio three to four. So we want three sevenths water at the end. Okay, so similar tax to four, we're gonna need to find the lowest common denominator. That actually looks pretty nasty. Um, I might actually do this the old fashioned way. So 12 is two squared times three. Uh, nine is three squared, seven is just seven. So the lowest common denominator will be two squared times three squared times seven, which is four times 36 times seven, which is going to be 252. Okay. And so we need, uh, effectively, that means that uh, the water becomes times by 21. So that's um, 105 over 252. Uh, this guy becomes times by uh 28 
No. Uh, yeah, 28. Um, uh, and so 28 times 7 is um, uh, 28 times 5 is 140, 168, one, uh, 196. Okay, pretty nasty, but then we should be pretty much done. And then uh, we need three over seven, so that's that one's multiplied by uh, four, nine, thirty-six. So thirty-six times three, that's uh, a hundred and eight, I believe. Yep. And so we we've got one on this end at one hundred and five, uh, two on this end at one hundred ninety-six, and we want to end up at. Uh, 108. So, in other words, it's uh, it's good. We're very, very biased towards one. Uh, we're in the ratio three to uh, so that's three that distance, and this distance is going to be 88. And so the answer is three to 88, I believe. So 88 to three. C. Nasty numbers in that question. Okay. If after 200 grams of water were added to the 24% solution of alcohol, the strength. So, well, we've got something at 24%. Uh, we add some amount of 0%, and it ends up uh, being at 16% because it decreased by one third. Well, then, and this we know is 200, uh, but using the ratio method, well, this is, uh, you know, as in, in the ratio 2 to 1. So, and we're still biased in favor of um, uh, the 24%. So we must have uh, twice as much 24% uh, as we do 0%. Um, and so the answer is going to be two times 200, which is 400. And that's the end of those questions. So, I mean, you can sort of see it's the same kind of method for all of them. Um, effectively, just um, a lot of them you can kind of guess just by using numbers and getting an idea for them but when they get a bit harder make sure you sort of have a method whether it's using the total amounts that are there or sort of using the differences in distances and ratios like I have been in most of these questions.